Hey everybody, we're going to watch uh, some Game of Thrones today. I have two more episodes of season 5 to watch. I'm so excited. Um, I want to watch both of them today. I will say I am a little bit nervous about this episode though because it's episode 9 and we have a pattern. Like episode um, season 1, Ned Stark died. Season 2, we had Blackwater. Season 3 um, was The Red Wedding. And season four was the wall. So we have sad battle, sad battle, which means this one's gonna be a sad one. If something happens to Tyrion, I'm gonna be so upset because he just made it over to where Danny is, and I don't want anything to happen to her. Let me turn my phone off. So yeah, I'm I'm nervous that I'm getting too happy about Tyrion being over there with Danny, and something's gonna happen. Um, I don't know. I'm just nervous. <laughs> I'm just really nervous for this episode, and it's probably not gonna be. Well, that's not true. It's episode 9. Something's going to happen. We're not due for any battles. Well, Stannis is making his way over to the Bolton, so maybe it's just a fight with them. I'm not looking forward to this at all, but I want to watch both of the episodes today. Uh, Alright, episode 8. Dra gave Tyrion to Mercy. Mercy. To Danny. Tyrion showed Jorah some mercy and was like, you know, don't kill him, but you can't have him by your side. He has grayscale anyway he needs to go figure that stuff out why is he over trying to like fight people when he has grayscale you can't touch people and you need to go find a cure i don't know anyway ramsey said he needed 20 men he didn't need a whole army he just needed 20 men for what i don't know what he's doing um ollie talked to sam about the wildlings coming in he's very very mad about that i think i didn't like that scene the more I thought about it, because I felt like Sam was just brushing him off. And Ollie's pissed. He saw them murder his entire village. He saw his parents die in front of him. I don't feel like Sam was giving him enough attention just then. Even though Sam is very hurt right now. Like, physically hurt from the fight. He, I just felt like he wasn't giving him the proper attention. He's kind of brushed it off as, listen, I know you're upset, but we need help right now. And which is what he should do, which is true. They need help right now. But this kid is not happy. So I don't know. I just didn't like that he brushed him off so bad. It's probably not a big deal. Uncle Kevin is now handing the king concertes in prison. <laughs> um, I don't know. A whole bunch of stuff happened. And then hard home. Man, that was a, oh, the, that whole last what was it 15 minutes of the show that was fantastic like that was fantastic valerian steel uh kills the the white walkers what is it in valerian steel that makes it able to do that like what properties does it share with dragon glass that makes it so awesome valeria must have been an amazing ancient town you know them riding through it who was it that asked me the question about it was it jonathan one of you, I think it was it Jonathan or Colin. One of you asked me uh, what I thought of it. I said hadn't really given much thought to Valeria. I think I we had talked about this in one of the few episodes um, over in like season three um, because I kept mentioning Valeria. I hadn't really thought about it, well, but when they were sailing through it, the first thing I thought were the floating mountains, the ones that they modeled the movie Avatar after, and I can't ever pronounce the name of. The national park in China but <laughs> it, it reminded me of that with the smoke um over the water and like everything look, looking like mysterious like that's what I first thought of it but I really don't have any opinions about that the actual city I hadn't really thought about it maybe after I read the books I will but I hadn't thought about it um that's it let's just watch this episode I'm not looking forward to it <laughs> Damn. A band of 20 men, maybe less. 
They were in and out before anyone spotted them. Burnt our food stores to the ground, all our siege weapons destroyed. Dozens of tents were... Horses. We're still getting a count, but hundreds are dead. Twenty men rode into our camp without a single guard sounding the alarm. The Northerners know more about their land than we ever will. Put last night's guards in chains. Either they fell asleep or they conspired with the enemy. Find out the truth and then hang them. Day armor. We're not returning to Castle Black. Forgive me, Your Grace. I never claimed to be an expert in military matters. But if we can't march forward, then we won't march back. You're fucked. What are these bitches doing? fail him or him or her John cheer up Everyone did some stuff because of you and no one else I don't think that fact's lost on them they're gonna kill all those people aren't they motherfucker you have a good heart John Snow it'll get us all killed Send for me, Grace. Find some healthy horses and a few knights to guide you. I'm sending you back to Castle Black. Tell the Lord Commander his king commands him to send food, supplies, fresh horses. In return, when I take the throne, I'll make sure the knight's watch has all the men it requires. The boy with the scroll could deliver this message. And if Jon yeah. Snow refuses the boy with the scroll, what does the boy say? I didn't name your hand for your expertise in military matters. Ride for Castle Black. Don't come back empty-handed. I suppose there's a file that. Princess and Princess Shireen could accompany me. My family stays with me. But at least let me take Shireen. The siege is no place for a little girl. My family stays with me. What's this one now? The Dance of Dragons. A true telling. By Grandmaster Munkin. Well, that sounds like a proper story. So Byron Swan wanted to kill the dragon Vega. He polished his shield for a week so that it was like a mirror. And he crouched behind it and crept forward, hoping the dragon would only see its own reflection. But the dragon saw a dumb man holding a mirrored <laughs> shield. And burnt him to a crisp. <laughs> Thus ending the dragon slaying career of Sir Byron Swan. <laughs> I made you something, Princess. Do you like it? He's beautiful. Thank you. You're very welcome. Will you make me a dough, too? So that he can have company? Of course I will. Wish I'd listen to him. This is my own poor way of saying thank you. For teaching me to be a grown-up. I'll be gone for a few days, Princess. I want to hear all about the Dance of Dragons when I'm back. He's sending him away, you isn't it he? yourself. Started without you. Please, sit. She's always Princess so pissed. Marcella. Oh. Uncle. We received a threatening message. The princess's necklace in the jaws of a viper. That necklace was stolen from my room. Well, that's one way to say something. I cannot disobey my king's command. She will return with you to King's Landing. And my son, Prince Tristane, will accompany you both. If the alliance between the Iron Throne and Dawn is to continue, their engagement must stand. Go! 
No. I forgot Tyro no. was going there with what's his face. Oh yes. If she I kills don't. him, he won't be watching Tyrell either if something happens to Marjorie uh, and Loris. He can like... No, I think something it's too stupid though. Me. Never mind. Too old. I have just the one. Anora. Our most expensive girl. But well worth it. I assure you. Too old. I'll have one. Any vinegar? She looks so different now, he wouldn't recognize her. Come let this girl in! Shoot, shoot! Good. The thin man wasn't hungry today. Perhaps that is why a man is thin. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I got less work to do. I know your daughter had no part in the terrible thing that happened to the man I love. Perhaps even you are innocent of that. I don't trust her. She was way too mad. You don't just let that go. The dance of dragons. Why is that a dance? It's just what they call it. It made much sense. I think it's poetic. Sometimes a person has to choose. Sometimes the world forces his hand. If a man knows what he is and remains true to himself, the choice is no choice at all. Is there any way I can help? Yes, there is. Good, I want to. I'm the Princess Shireen of House Baratheon, and I'm your daughter. Forgive me. <laughs> 